From the Erie County Fair at the Hamburg Fairgrounds, it's time to play... Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, from the entertainment stage at Slade Park, here's your host, John DeShulo, with today's two teams. Rights. It's the Erie County Fair Special Edition, and I am so honored to be here. John DeShula with you with our guest scorekeeper, Kim Piazza, from What's the Buzz in Western New York and Talk of the Town. Now, Kim, we have some, we have some great teams that we're going to meet in just a little bit, but it wouldn't be the fair if we didn't have some fun fair food. And what do we have? This is a maple frino. There's an awesome booth. All the food has Western New York maple syrup in it. Maple frino. Maple frino. Let's give it a mm. ooh, give it a whirl. Mmm. That's really good, and I'm not sharing. Not sharing at all. Not at all. Oh my. Bye. All right. Well, Kim's got her maple frino, and uh, we're here at Slade Park, and we've got a beautiful audience watching from the picnic tables. Give yourselves a round of applause <laughs> from our fans here at the yeah. fair. We are kicking off a week of very special shows, our very first remotes, actually, for WBBZ-TV, your hometown MeTV station, so we're proud to be here from the fair. And we're proud to be here with some great teams. On the X side, would you welcome the fair board? These are some very important people who run the Erie County Fair. And they are joined on the blue side from the Erie County Fair Friends. Also some people who are very important. We're gonna find out who they are. So let's go over and meet our team captain for the Red X side, and you are? I am John Lehmer. John. John, welcome to the show. Thank you. You're a returning team member. You played last year when we were back at the studio. How many years have you been a board member? I think, I believe nine. Nine years, and uh, what is it like to be a board member? What do you do? Nothing. <laughs> Well, you must make big decisions, like where the maple frappuccino machine needs to go. We help with that, and we also help with the funding that goes on to improve the grounds that are here so that the guests can you know, enjoy this beautiful fairground. It's a great fairground, and really it's based in agriculture, and it's got a 176-year history. That is correct, and agriculture is our theme. I mean, without a doubt, we are here to provide education and training and and what is agricultural about. In fact, we just opened up a new exhibit, Little Hands on the Farm, to teach kids what, what is agriculture. And who is on the team with you, John? I have Wes Dust. <laughs> and, and Bill Hopkins. Wes and Bill. All right, gentlemen, we'll talk to you in just a little bit. Kim, I'm gonna come over now and introduce the O team, and you are? David Arita. I have some round of applause for David Arita. We're happy to have you here, David. How long have you been involved in the Erie County Fair? Uh, since 1990. A couple, this is over 20 years. And what do you like best about the fair? Oh, geez. Sir, helping the people have a good time here. Um, the animals, the food, the fun, the smells, everything. Everything about the fair is Western New York. It really is, and it's an idyllic time of the year, and we're happy to have you here. And who did you bring? Uh, some other coordinators of ours for the Friends of the Fair. We have Doug DeTondo, and we have Cindy Williams. Hello, Doug and Cindy. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, I'm going to cross in front of Kim. My apologies there, Kim. All right, we are going to start. The red team is up. We play for points, Kim. The first round, each question worth 10 points. Second round, they're worth 20. Third round, they're worth 30 points. We have some great prizes. And each team, even though we're having some fun and playing for the bragging rights of being on WBBZ TV, each team is entered to win three LED HD 50-inch TVs from Dirt Cheap TV. That's a great big prize. Whoa. So we'll see who might win that at the end of the summer season. All right, John, we've met you, and you are going to be up first. Are you ready for your first question? We're ready, John. All right, here we go. Now, this is the 176th Erie County Fair, as we heard. And now, this might be a tricky question, but what year was the first Erie County Fair? A. 1820. B, 1830. Or C, 1840. What do we think? We have an answer. Do you have an answer, John? I hope you do. You are the fair board. Give it to us. 1820. Hey, Kim, are they correct? Yeah, they are. John would, John would be out cleaning the livestock if he didn't get that correct. Now, they're not all that easy, guys, okay? They're even harder. All right, now we are going to be up next with you, Doug. Are you ready for your question? David, yes. David, I'm sorry, yes. No, it's all right. 
All right, which of these foods is not among the, the uh, contestants in the new food showdown at this year's fair? A, gator mac and cheese. Black dog chocolate donut ice cream bar. Or C, the milk of magnesia shake, which is not on the food showdown. The milk Dave? of magnesia shake? Kim? C, milk of Correct magnesia answer. shake. Though many of you may need it after some of the food you're gonna be eating. Bacon covered everything here, John. All right, John and the fair board, you ready for question three? We're ready. All right. Which of the following really, really happened? A, Megyn Kelly started a new chapter of the Donald Trump fan club. B, co-ed nude Olympics at Princeton University. Hmm, or C, a Quidditch championship at Hogwarts School. Which really happened? What was the last one? A Quidditch championship at the Hogwarts School. We'll go with number two. You're going to go with B, the co-ed nude Olympics. Kim? You are correct. Yep. <laughs> but the Princeton board, board had voted to stop the nude Olympics in 1999 for liability reasons. Hey, this is a family show, everybody. <laughs> David, I'm yep. getting it right now. Am you I right, it. David? You All right, you're ready. Question number four. Are you good? Oh, we're trying. The movie Night of the Living Dead. Kim, you like zombie movies, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. It's generally considered the beginning of the modern zombie culture. When did Night of the Living Dead actually come out? Was it? A, 1958. B, 1968. Or C, 1978. It's a tough one, Jack. This is a tough one. If you're not a zombie fan, it's a big popular offbeat cinema movie. And it'll be airing on Halloween night. David? Uh, 1968. B. You are correct! Yeah. Kim is keeping score. That was the last question in the very first round of the very first remote at the Erie County Fair. Kim, what is the score as we end round one? Currently the score at the end of, our, uh, the end of round, round one. one, X's have 20, O's have 20. It is a tie score. We'll find out who pulls ahead when we come back right after this. We're here at the Erie County Fair. We welcome you back for another great show, another great segment. And Kim Piazza is here. Now, Kim, tell us what you do at WBBZ TV besides hang out with me sometimes on Bragging Rights. We have lots of fun shows. We do have lots of fun shows. I host What's the Buzz in Western New York, which is a great time because I get to go around to all of these wonderful Western New York businesses and whatever great thing it is they do, I get to do too. So um, my favorites are when we get to go to restaurants. Yeah, you like to eat. I do, I do. I get to I get to try out all the really good food. And there's Talk of the Town with Phil Arno, the That's owner of the right. station. We co-host Talk of the Town and we get to sit down and talk about fun things, serious things. We talk about charity. Things like the Erie County Fair. And the Doggy Biscuit Challenge in the oh, SPCA yes, recently. Yes, that's right. I recently ate a dog biscuit. It's true. Wash it down with a maple frappuccino right there. Yeah. All right, we are back to bragging rights, and uh, we're now welcoming back our teams. On the red side, the fair board, we welcome them back. How about a round of applause as we get everybody pumped up? We'll meet some of those members in just a little bit, and they're playing against the fair friends. We gotta pump this audience up here, Kim. We gotta pump them right up. I'm gonna come over now and introduce you to another member of the fair board. I'm coming over, and you are, sir? Wesley Dust. You have your own fan club, Wesley. You betcha. <laughs> All grandchildren. Well, they look great. And how long have you been on the fair? 20 years. Wow, that's great. You've seen a lot of changes. Yes, we have. It's, it's tremendous, the things that we've been able to do here with all the new construction, the parks. we got a lot of green space. We, we try not to lose any of the green space because we feel it's real important. Well, very important. And I know every year you want to make a change. But at the same time, you want things to kind of be the same. People look forward to seeing things in the same place. And, and that kind of iconic, it's something for the summer. You bet. You know, it, you get criticized for not changing things, but then you get criticized for changing things. Like, well, why did you change that? It, you know, but everything we do is we try to do it for the better. 
do, and you do a great job. And thanks for playing bragging rights here today. And I'm going to come over now. Yeah, you can give Wes a round of applause, all of his friends and family. And you are, sir? Doug DeTondo. How are you? I am very good. How are you? I'm great. So what do you like to do at the fair most? What's your favorite, fun, friendly fair event? Probably people watch. Ah, there you go. Yeah, a lot of fun folks here. Oh, yeah, we have a great time. Great. Well, thanks, and we're having fun here in Slate Park. Uh, this was a blast. Yeah, it is, and we're happy that you're here. We're happy that you're here. And Kim Piazza, as we begin round two, what is the score in case people are just joining us? X's have 20, O's have 20. 20 to 20, it's a tie score. We're going to see if there's going to be a smackdown coming right up here. It could be like the Demolition Derby on Sunday. All right, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to have questions. The red team is next. They're worth 20 points. 20 points a question. Trying to get 20 points. John and friends, are you ready over there in the fair board? Now, you said you had an issue with those zombie questions, right? Well, get ready. I've got one for you. That's not fair. I'm ready. In George Romero's Night of the Living Dead script, what are the undead antagonists known as? A, zombies, B, ghosts, or C, ghouls? A Halloween classic. Are they zombies, ghosts, or ghouls? We're going to go C, John. John says C. Kim? And the answer is C. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Ghouls. However, did you know, Kim, Romero used the term zombie in later interviews, and that's just one of those great black and white classics. All right, we move on, and it's time for question number six. Are the fair friends ready? Oh, we sure are. All right, listen up. For 20 points, some boys romance, some boys slow dance. That's all right with me. If they can't raise my interest, then I have to let them be, because I am what? A, a zombie, B, a vampire, or C, a material girl. What do you think? I, I can't ask you, Kim. You know the answer. Uh, C, material girl. Kim, they say material girl. C, material girl. Oh, my God. Now I think they have to sing it. No, you need to sing it, too. Living in a... Some boys can romance, some boys slow dance. That's all right with me. <laughs> That's enough. Wow. Who knew? Kim Piazza, who knew? You know, they have a big grandstand stage right over there. They, they do. Yeah, they kicked should. me off. John, look at what we've got here. The burgeoning talent of Kim Piazza. You we'll sign her right up. Yeah. She works real cheap. She works for Maple Frappuccinos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who is the material girl? That's your question. That's question seven. And let's read them their choices, Kim. Ooh, okay. A, Cindy Lauper. B, Madonna. C, Taylor Swift. Who is that material girl? John says Madonna. And you are correct. Wow, John. She had that hit song in 1984. He hasn't changed a bit, that John Lamer, since 1984. Fair friends, you're up next with question eight. Are you ready? Oh, we are. Can't wait for this one, because we can't get enough of this. The music video of Material Girl, which we're going to reinvent right here, imitated whose performance of the song Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend? Was it? A, Marilyn Monroe, B, Lucille Ball, or C, Doris Day? A, Marilyn Monroe? Kim? You are correct. More good points are up there on the board. And that Marilyn Monroe film was from 1953, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Two more minutes left in round two. John, can you stand the, 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 the pressure? Oh, no, I can't get over this. You even got the zombie one correct. That's good. Amazing. Yeah. All right, John. Are you ready? We're ready. All right, we question nine. All afternoon. How many chambers make up the human heart? A, two. B, four. Or C, three. Four. He says four. And he would be correct. Four chambers it is. <laughs> Boys, it's a great game. It's a great game. I don't think we're going to get any wrong answers coming up. This is the last question in round two for the fair friends Question number 10, in the rock song, Joy to the World, who was a bullfrog? A. Joshua. B. Clarence. C. Jeremiah. Who was the bullfrog? Uh, C. Jeremiah. Kim? Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Let's hear it again. Let's hear that song. <laughs> Jeremiah <laughs> was a bullfrog. You sing this one, John. Dun, dun, dun. Was, was a, a good, good friend, friend of mine. mine. 
Bum, bum, bum. All right, that's good. Johnny, you still with us? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Kim, it's time to, you're working, you're singing, you're, well, you got a maple frappuccino. It's time uh, yeah, now. Yeah, Kim yeah, is yeah, calculating yeah. the score. All right, it is still a tied game. X's have 80, O's have 80. We may have a tiebreaker coming up from the Erie County Fair at Slade Park. Can you stand the excitement? Woo! It's more fun than the roller coaster. We'll be back right after this. Yeah. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. At the Erie County Fair for Bragging Rights with uh, some rubber chickens, the chicken dance. Are you going to do the chicken dance for us? Would you like? We've been singing all show. We can do the chicken dance. How about a chicken twerk dance? Okay. Um, Everyone, John DeShulo doing the chicken twerk dance. Yeah. Give him there a hand. You, yeah. oh. you know, there's nothing like a good television dance, and that was <laughs> nothing like a good television dance. Our red team is here, the Erie County Fair Board. We're excited that they're here. These are the big people who keep the Erie County Fair going, and they're playing against, on the O side, our fair friends, and we're going to find out the mission of the fair friends here in just a little bit. But first, Kim, I'm going to come over and introduce us to the third member of the fair board on the Red X team. And you are, sir? Bill Hopkins. How are you doing, Bill? I'm fine. How about yourself? I'm doing great. You have another fan base with you, too. Fun to be here in Slade Park. Yeah, it is. A lot of fun. Kids are having a blast. What is uh, your most fun thing to do, being on the fair board? Well, I run the mounted division, so I'm in charge of the horse guys out there and keeping everybody safe. The horses are beautiful here, and they're great to see law enforcement. And of course, the fair does so much to salute veterans and uh, and really honor those who are first responders. You bet. We try to take care of all of our veterans and our firefighters and EMS, all of those people. All right, round of applause for those fine men and women who we support. Thanks for playing our game. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, and I'm going to come over here and meet the lovely. It's Cindy Williams. Yay. How are you, Cindy? Excellent. Yourself? I'm doing great. So you're a friend of the fair, but what does that really mean? What's your mission? Friends and Fair are a volunteer organization that cover over 200 jobs roughly per day. Um, everything from helping to organize picnics and carting everything down to them to driving the veterans around as needed, um, being in the information booth at the gate going, hi, you're at gate five. Remember where you parked. Here's your program. <laughs> I bet a lot of people, I've lost my car here too. Yeah, there have been days we've driven around and around and around looking for cars. Well, we really need a lot of friends at the fair. Can, can people sign up to become a friend? Absolutely. Our office is just below the main fair office um, as you go down that hill. And the applications are there or online. Just go in and find friends of the fair. And we need volunteers desperately. Well, you just made the plea and let's hope some people respond. I hope, thank you. All right, Cindy Williams, how about that, is here. <laughs> Friends of the fair. We're playing bragging rights, and Kim, it's time for round three. What is the score as we begin round three? It's a tie. X's have eight, 80. <laughs> O's have 80. 80 to 80, it's amazing. You can't go anywhere. Why turn the channel? All right, John Lemer and the fair board. Are you ready for round three? We're ready, John. Gonna try to hold on to this? We're ready. Here's your question. Where was Elvis Presley born? Hmm. A, Jackson, Tennessee. B, Tupelo, Mississippi. Or C, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Elvis. We are going with B. Tupelo. And you would be correct. B is the right answer. Boy, oh boy, we're up again. 30 points now, each question. Okay, fair friends, give us a, give us a shot. You ready? Oh, we're ready? How big in acres is the Hamburg Fairgrounds? A, 166 acres, B, 266 acres, or C, 366 acres? That's a tough one, John. This, yeah, for as many miles and feet steps uh, they've walked. We're gonna say B, 266 acres. What do you think? Color me impressed. It is B, 266 acres. The red team is next. John Lemer, are you a fan of MeTV? Love I all am. the classic shows? I do. All right, then you may get this. Some of them. Some of them? Well, maybe this one. In the MeTV series Hogan's Heroes, the POWs are held in what prison, Kim? A, 
Stalag 13. B, Stalag 15. Or C, Stalag 17. It's A, 13. 13, Kim? You are correct. There we Again. go. Hogan's Heroes, the great Bob Crane. There it is. We're up to question 14. I feel a tiebreaker coming on. Don't you, audience? I do. Fair friends? Oh, you jinxed us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. In what year was the first powered flight by the Wright brothers? A, 1900. B, 1903. Or C, 1906. Dave, Doug, and Cindy are trying to keep this game tied. Uh, we're going to try B, 1903. And the answer is... B, 1903! Boy, Yikes. oh boy. I love these games. This is great. I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't get over it. We're up to question 15. John, you good? We're ready. What does Harcos Labs in California sell? Harcos, H-A-R-C-O-S, do they sell A, zombie ice cream? B, zombie jerky. Or C, zombie funnel cake. Are they serving any of those at the fair today? There might be a new category of food that we're christening right here, the zombie. Zombie food. Zombie food. Zombie food. We are going to go B. B, zombie jerky. Correct. How did you know How it was this? B? It's How B. Did How did you know, know that? The answer was B, zombie jerky. They also sell zombie blood. Who are these people? <laughs> All right, we just have a few more minutes left. Are you ready, fair friends? Oh, we're trying to keep up, yes. Dave, hold nothing back. In what year was the Erie Canal completed? A, 1825, B, 1830, or C, 1835? a lot of thought into this one, John. It's a very tough question. We're going to go with A, 1825. And guess what? They got it right. It's 1925. 1825. 1825. All right. Coming up. Moving along. As of 2011, what city in Canada had the largest population? A, Vancouver, B, Montreal, or C, Toronto? We're going to go with Toronto. C. Toronto. T-O it is. Correct answer, 30 more points. Kim, keep those scores up. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, sir. All right, we're keeping the scores up. We are running out of time, and this is going to be our last question. We'll see if it's going to end up in a tie or if the red team takes it. If you don't get this correct, how many days is the Erie County Fair? A, 10, B, 12, or C, 14? Fair friends? 12 days. Tell me that they got that right, Kim. They are correct. They got it correct. <laughs> August 12th to the 13th. All right, we have a tiebreaker coming up. All right, so John, here's what we're going to do. All right, you guys are up next. I have a coin right here. I want you to call heads or tails. If you get it correct and it's heads or tails, you can either give the question over to this team, and then if they get it right, they win, or if they get it wrong, then you win. Okay? All right, so what would you like, heads or tails? Heads, we'll go with heads. We're gonna go with heads. We're gonna flip it, it's gonna land on the stage. There it goes. The bad flip, but there it goes. It is tails, all right. All right, so folks, you have kind of won the toy coin toss on the O side. Would you like to give your question to the red team, the fair board, or would you like to take it? I think, John, John we're gonna take it. You're going to take the question. If you get this correct, you win the game. Question 19. Who was the shortest U.S. president? A, James Madison, B, Martin Van Buren, or C, Harry Truman? The shortest. Uh, that would be James Madison. The answer is correct. Five foot four inches tall. You are the bragging rights champions for this game. Congratulations to the fair friends. Give them a round of applause. The big tiebreaker. Now that doesn't mean you're going to go home empty handed John and uh, fair, fair friends, because we have for you, as we talked about, rubber chickens from our friends at Airport Yay! Plaza Jewelers. I'm going to walk over. There you go. Have your uh, rubber Thank chicken. You it's very nice. And for the fair friends, we're going to send you home with some chocolates from Niagara Candy and Sweet Works. And we also have another prize, Kim, that we're going to give them. Two tickets 
to each member of the winning team to Alleyway Theater's world premiere musical in September called Granny Bird, which will be your choice of the 11th or the 12th. Congratulations to them. We want to thank everybody for their help here at the Erie County Fair. We'll see you tomorrow right here from the stage at Slade Park. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kim.